Carl Bates. If you miss Carl on here with another screen cap, this time it's about the color picker. So let's get ready. Oh, by the way, before we start, if you hear my sprinkler system running in the back or my dog crying for attention, please forgive. Got to get things done, so let's move on. Color picker right here. Click on a square, up comes the color picker, but what the heck are you looking at? So over here is the hue slider. Most people call it colors, but if you look at it closely, you'll see that it's every color that you see in the color spectrum, what our eyes can perceive. And what in art we call these hue. Over here is when people would just say, hey, we're picking the colors, but you're picking the color of a specific hue. You're picking the color of a specific hue. So we want a hint of that color. We want a high intensity color. We either want a dark color or a muted color of the color of the hue magenta. Ooh, what do you want? So you pick the hue and you choose the color. Um, that's all you need to know in this screen except you gotta say okay and then it pops up into the, let's wait for a moment, the foreground square. Now, the foreground square for picking the colors that you paint with, this other square is for the background color. And that's for what do you want to see when you erase through a layer, a layer or the background layer. So let me show you what that's about. Let's change the color. You can't change the hue. And then I pick the color. I'm going to take the eraser tool after I lock the layer that you see right here. Unlock, let's lock it, flatten the image, and pick up the eraser tool. And what you're going to see is me cutting through the paper. So if you would use a paper, you know, this is real stuff instead of virtual stuff. And I'm seeing this color underneath. It's kind of hard to wrap your brain around it. But remember, you know, when you erase, you're cutting a hole in the layer. Okay? Now let's talk about a couple of other things. Over here is the, um, well it switches the default color to um, the standard color, which is black and white. Black and white are used a lot, so if you click on that little icon right there, instantly you got black and white. And the other one right next to it just flips the foreground to the background. It switches. So bang, there it is. Now let's just go over this real quickly. Over here, you're picking the hue over here, you're picking the color of the hue. Hints, intensity, darkness, muted. There's your new color right there. When you erase through a layer, you're going to see the color underneath or the background color. Okay. I think that colors, oh, wait a minute, let's just look at this one. And this flips the two back and forth. You just keep clicking on it. Well, that's it about the color picker. Easy stuff, I hope. Bye-bye.